it's like a whole different world we had to go through, you know? It's so different how, like, our lives just, like, changed, you know? Like, within the course of, like, three years. We can't do the same things we once did before. And it's like, okay, now we have to, like, stick with this and do this. One of the problems that I had faced uh, during the pandemic was my issue of feeling like I had became dissociated um, with the world that I had lived in with a lot of isolationism. And I had reflected on a lot of experiences that haven't really been the best for me or haven't really impacted me in the best way uh, throughout my life. I have noticed that I become more socially awkward. It is hard for me to talk still, but I always been like that. But now if I'm talking to someone without the mask, I get insecure and I cover my face. I haven't learned anything about myself. Since we were quarantined for so long, you kind of lose track of time. Um, I definitely have moments where I'm in school and I can't focus on my work due to the social, the lack of social skills. During online, I felt as if it didn't require my full potential as long as I got a good, a decent grade. Before the pandemic, I was able to just walk up to people and talk to them. But after, it's just a little weird, I don't know. It's because I have less people to talk to in person and it's harder to socialize through social media and stuff. It was really difficult concentrating while being at home. And, um, well, family doesn't always understand that. Right when COVID started, I was like frozen. Like I could not do anything. Like. It felt as if my whole life stopped. We were struggling with our social interaction after COVID because it's like we were just like all trapped in our houses. I'm more like social aware of topics, um, how things are. Um, I kind of, uh, after the whole George Floyd thing happened during quarantine, it really like shook me up and to my core. Like I started like learning more, as a, just started getting more knowledge on the topics. Um, well, as you know, the murder of George Floyd did happen. Yes. Um, protests and looting, a lot of things happened. What was your reactions or thoughts to the whole situation? I feel like, in general, like the whole situation, I found that, like, it's not fair for certain ethnicity, especially black people in general, because they get treated poorly compared to other ethnicities. Like, so after the events, I definitely wanted like more justice. George Floyd kept saying that he couldn't breathe, that he continued to put his knee on his neck, which was draining the oxygen out of him, and it led up to the riots, the protests, and... And I support the rioting and the protests because it's... people were angry, and I was also angry, and he should have not been murdered. Okay, thank you. So when you think of black and brown unity, like, what do you think of? Thinking about um, like people of color, like it can be like from Latin people to um, African American descent. I think of all those people, and I think like there should be more representation around them. On them, I think of strength. I think of courage. I think of um, really like pushing down the boundaries. How I view myself, and I feel like I need to start taking charge. Solidarity. Mm -hmm. because we show up for each other. I think of everyone being together as one union and everybody getting along. I think of the efforts of people that I know in, in Little Village in North Lawndale. So I think of a lot of different people that I know that are currently like trying to make that happen. I think that I learned that my voice has power. You know what? I can actually make a difference. Like, I can actually do something. And so what better way to do something with my voice than to actually try photography and film? Let me put my words into a picture or a video. And if I can do that, maybe it can change or something. So, yeah. I think I learned how to, like, work together more with people. Um, and I also learned a little bit about myself. Uh, I also get scared, but I get scared asking questions rather than speaking and answering. So, which is like, that's kind of odd for me. Um, and I also learned, you know, just more about film. Even though I've had previous experiences, I think that this was like my first, more professional um, experience, so. Seeing the other side of the story of how other people that were COVID uh, really taught me that, how, how he big this pandemic was to the world. I noticed that a lot of people 
really do support black and brown unity, which is our topic. Um, I've learned about myself and others that we're all more incredibly resilient than we think we are. Uh, sometimes we don't give ourselves enough credit, but I think truthfully, uh, no matter what mental block you have or what you may be going through, I think we all have the capability to get through it. And we are, like I said, more resilient than we think we are.